Hey there dudes, Super Spaz here, and welcome back once again to Let's Play FTL Faster Than Light. Um, last time we left off I was a little boned. I'm still a little boned, I'm low on fuel and hull. <laughs> oh great, an empty sector, good, fantastic. Great way to start off the day. Uh, crap. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down to the distress, then go up to the quest, and then pray that I can find some fuel in between. Wow, I can't believe that actually worked. I totally, I'm totally jumping into this without actually reading anything. I think that was the point last time, as I said, hey, I'm gonna read all these things. You probably wanna hear my voice and such. So I'm gonna start reading. Once you arrive at the beacon, you detect a rebel scout assaulting a compound on a nearby desolate moon. Engage the rebel and rescue the space dock. All right, so we've got two drones. Fantastic. What the what? Okay, so he's got a lot here going on for him. Uh, hopefully I can pierce through him. I'm gonna have to wait for my heavy laser to beef itself up. In the meantime, though, <laughs> just gotta pray that my shields hold. And they don't look like they're holding. Uh, this actually could be the end of the run right here. This could be a really short episode. It actually might be. Uh, and I can't jump away because they destroyed my weapon system. Wow, that was incredibly unlucky. Oh, and I found the pod and everything. It's already over, it looks like. Okay, well, so much for that. <laughs> well, that's not good. Because the thing about FTL is that you can't save and reload anything. So, I guess I kind of got an unlucky encounter there. I did not expect them to have two attack drones and level three shields. That's a bit unfair, don't you think? No? All right, fine, I guess. All right, so starting over, let's go on back to the rock ship mark one. Wow, what a way to start an episode, right? <laughs> did not see that coming. All right, normal and start. The day you carries vital. We've already been through this before. Same old spiel. Same old Steven Spielberg. I can't believe that just happened. I thought I could have upgraded my shields a little bit, maybe. Oh well, this is what happens. This is FTL for you. You start your run off strong, and then all of a sudden it goes to shit just like that. And I forgot to start my timer. Um, uh, I probably should have thought about intervening against a rebel ship, but my heavy pierce beam... Pierce beam? It's not a beam. It's a laser. Get it right, nerd. But yeah, they're what I have nothing to say right now. I really don't. This is atrocious. That really didn't have to happen. I mean, I took one damage, but come on now. We're better than that. That was some shitty, 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 uh, Marksmanship there, weapons guy. What's your name? Stick? I think Cubbin would have done a better job. I mean, <laughs> Narth. I love the names in this game. Giles. Giles is pretty normal, like from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Or that guy in uh, The Crucible. The old guy who's like, more weight. That was a pretty badass way to go out, if anyway. Uh, a store? I really don't need a store right now. I need to focus on the integrity of my own hull. Thank you very much. Let's explore the asteroid field. Ah, who needs an asteroid field? I don't think you can actually find the rock ship augment in the first... Oh, I thought that was it. I was wrong. I gotta read these things! Jeez, me! Also, if you could suggest a voice you'd like to hear them read in, uh, that'd be great. Like Bill Cosby. Probably not Bill Cosby. Don't do Bill Cosby, that's just a bad idea. But most definitely... The epic voice is good. The movie announcer voice. I'm about to get Ion in the shields unless it misses. Yep, I'm gonna take a lot of damage right now. And it's gonna be really bad because asteroid field. So hopefully my shield comes back right now. Nope, not soon enough. Thanks though, good try, good show. Uh, I can probably send engines guy to go fix that. Seeing as I need weapons and shields right now since this is an asteroid field. No. No, you don't. No, you're not getting away. You're getting pelted by asteroids, but you're not getting away. You're not gonna repair- Ooh, that's the thing about slug ships that's nice, is that their oxygen supply is cut off from everything else. And we are charging. 
And now we're jumping. Uh, I think I can definitely... I can afford to jump around a little bit more than usual. Okay, they're attacking with a drone. Neato. And a missile, no less. Wow, they're really just laying on... Laying it on thick right now. <sighs> get to the... Uh, you're not going to be able to get there in time. You're a rock crew member. What am I thinking? You move at the speed of smell. Speed of smell. Smell. Speed of smell. Oh, it wouldn't matter anyway, because the engines are powered down, so it would have given me a 5% boost to evade. I would have pretty much been guaranteed uh, to be hit by a missile anyhow. No use trying to score him out of it. Alright, their shields are down, which doesn't really do anything for me, but I think the pierce laser... Nope, it probably does the same amount of damage as it usually does. Can you imagine if I hadn't been recording this whole time? I can tell I'm recording because it shows me in the top right corner. That's what I love about DX Story. Fraps, you can't do that. Because it'll actually include the watermark in the video that shows that you're recording. But DX Story's like, yeah, you're recording. What about it? And I'm like, thank you, DX Story. Thank you for being there for me. Space, the final. Here we go. Scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you. Stay out of this, or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on... Ah, ah, ah! We have a blue option, which means we don't take any consequences. I don't actually... It's rare that you take consequences with these. I can firebomb them. And they give me defense drone mark one. That's not bad. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to upgrade my shields and power. So I can take one out of the med bay and put it in shields. Perfect. And now I can have two layers of shields, which is fantastic for the beginning of the game. Uh, I think I probably want to go here. Just get around the exit so I can make a hasty getaway if need be. Alright, heavy pierce on those shield or those weapons. They have a beam drone. They can't pierce me right now. So I can just kind of sit back, relax. That's one thing about this that kind of sucks, is that you can sit back and relax, but you have to still talk. I guess I could fast forward these things. Alright, I think after this encounter on, I'm definitely going to fast forward the boring, slow ones. I mean, the first sector is full of boring, slow encounters, though. So, I mean... Don't stab me for... Uh, let's fight the ship, actually. I kind of want to see him, uh, he can't damage me right now. Alright, and that ship exploded, and here we go off into the great beyond to the Stress Beacon, yes? I suddenly turn Russian like Chekhov from Star Trek. I'm not very good at accents, I'm so sorry. Give them fuel, yes, always give the fuel. What, did you just update the sector? Come on, that's a terrible reward. I was hoping for some scrap, actually. Guess you can't even spare that, can you? Uh, if I give them drone parts, I can get more fuel. I suppose I'm not really using drone parts right now, and I can always buy them later. Pirate or Rebel? Whew. Tough one. Tough choice, actually. Because, unfortunately... Uh, I'm gonna go look this up. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back, and I determined that the pirate-controlled sector is probably our best bet at the moment. Uh, unfortunately, this run's still not looking too ideal for getting this augment. But we shall see. Because the pirate controlled sector is actually possible to find it, and I want to find it as early as I possibly can. Uh, heavy pierce. Uh, unfortunately, if I don't find any more weapons, I'm going to be a little blown out of the water here. I guess we can try to fast forward this encounter, but it actually might wind up being interesting since he has a burst laser mark 2. No, he doesn't have a burst laser mark 2. Alright, <laughs> so we're going to fast forward, and I'll see you on the other side. And just because I'm cruel, I targeted his med bay last. I don't know if you actually saw that. Uh, crap. Where should we go? What would be the best bet to actually look for a distress beacon? If that's a distress beacon, I might want to go up there in case. 
It'd be a very good idea. I forgot to turn on my timer again. Why do I always forget to turn on my timer again? All right. You arrived at a sp <laughs> you arrived at a small fleet of NG ships target you with a message. Piracy results in negative societal impact. Not permitted. You assure them of your honest intentions and they allow you to pass. Nope, nothing there. And no distress beacon, so I'm just gonna go this way because it's a little bit safer to do. And another ship that cannot damage me, so fast forward. Alright, we're back. That ship exploded pretty easily. And yet, still no shop or nor distress beacon. I'm afraid this run might be cut short. Hopefully not. Okay, so here's both a store and a distress beacon. So I'm gonna go to the store first and buy some stuff. Or sell my firebomb, rather. And go check out the distress beacon and see what I can do about that. Uh, I might actually want to buy... A hull missile, considering the fact that I don't have any other way to damage them. I might also sell my defense drone. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy this hull missile and I'm gonna upgrade my weapon system. Get some power up in here. Just in case, because it looks like... Okay, I don't have enough power for that either. It looks like I don't have anything to pierce through level whatever shields. So, it's kind of an issue, unfortunately. So let's go to this distress beacon. If it's not what I'm looking for... I might just restart the run. Uh, go down to the surface to investigate. Yeah, I'm- no. This event's not good. You find a madman living alone in a cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems he's been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. I'm gonna leave the madman to his ravings. He's not worth the risk, because usually he'll just wind up like jihadding your crew, and it's never a good thing. It does not look like I found the augment. My best bet is probably to race over here and try to find them, because I know they're not- that it's not over there. Another ship where I can't... Okay, well, at least he has a level 1 shield so I can pierce him. Uh, this part's gonna have to end soon. Yeah, I want to keep these ones shorter than usual. My Pokemon parts, anyway, that are hours long. The unfortunate part about this hull missile is it takes a long time to charge compared to my heavy pierce. But it's the only way I have of damaging level 2 shields, which is what I want to get ready for. Alright, so looks like he's trying to get away. I don't want to let him get away. So I gotta shoot him in the end, or the uh, pilot seat. My friend actually pointed out an interesting fact about this game is that enemy ships don't have reactors that you can target, like their power source. I mean, it has to come from somewhere, right? It's this right here, where you power all your things. You can't hit that. And I mean, the weird thing is you can hit pretty much every other system on the ship, but not the power source. All right, so what I wanna do probably is go to this nebula, God forbid. I hate nebulas because they have a chance to ion storm, and luckily this one's not. Uh, and it doesn't... Okay, I've been boarded. Uh, I don't know where they're going to attack first. Looks like there, and looks like also the O2. Uh, so you go there, and you also back him up. And, you know, within reasonable time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Rock crew members are just known for being really slow. I think I'm actually going to end it off after this encounter... And, well, whether or not... Actually, I want to see if there's a distress beacon. There is no distress beacon. So, actually, I think I'm going to restart this run, and I will see you guys next time, and we will start over fresh. I'll actually probably get through the first sector before I start recording next time, so that I can um, just speed things along. I don't want to have to fast forward a lot. So, I will see all you guys later. Have a great day. I'm going to sign off with that from now on. Later, dudes.